Well, today I'm going to be replacing the starter motor on a Chinese 150cc GY6 scooter. The tools needed for the job are a 8mm uh, socket, 10mm socket, an extension and a ratchet, and a Phillips head screwdriver, and of course the new electric starter motor. And if you have a little bit of grease on hand, that comes in handy too later on. So, to start off, we're going to have to get access to the starter motor, so you're going to want to open up the C-pan. And you're going to have to remove this storage area here, so you're going to remove the four nuts that hold it on. I've already got them loose. There's one there, one there, one there, and one there, and they're all 10 mils. You should just undo it with the socket. And then you remove the, the uh, fuel filler cap and lift the seat pan off, and then you replace the fuel filler cap. So I'll go do that. Alright, now we have access to the starter motor, which is right down here. Uh, the way you test if a starter motor is good is if you know you have a decent battery putting out at least 12.5 volts and of at least 7 amps and you got your multimeter and put the positive onto the starter wire and grounded the negative and pressed the electric starter button and should be getting at least 12.5 volts there and if you're not that means the, um, the starter is no good which is the case on this bike it's only getting about 7 volts so the first step into doing this is going to be to actually remove the starter itself and then you're going to remove the wire. So you're going to need to take your 8mm uh, extension ratchet here, undo this because it gets in the way, which is one of the transmission cover bolts, but it holds this brake cable there, so you're going to remove that. And then you're going to remove this 8mm, just put the ratchet in through there, and then that one. So we're going to remove that, those, those three and then this little plate will actually come off, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Well, the three bolts have been removed now. Most importantly, the two that hold in the starter, so now the starter is ready to be removed. So what you can do is you'll go ahead and just grab it and pull it slowly back and wiggle it. You don't want to try and pull it up because that can screw up the Bendix gear. So you just want to slowly just wiggle it out of there. It takes a little bit of wiggling. Sometimes it helps if you um, kick the kickstarter over just a tiny bit because it'll like change the alignment of all the gears and stuff in there so you're just going to want to slowly pull it out so I'll do that alright I got my starter out now that's the spot where it used to be here's where it is now just sitting on the uh, fender there so next step is going to be to take the Phillips head screwdriver and undo this Phillips head screw here which will um, you know disconnect the wire I'm going to keep that screw though because I, I think the new starter it does not have that screw with it so I'll need to use that screw and also the little plate behind it that holds it on. Alright, the starter motor is free of the, uh, the engine now. I just removed that Phillips head screw and it is, I was correct, the, uh, the new starter motor does not have that screw so just be reusing the old one. Yeah, but here's the starter here. Um, if you really want to go and investigate you can uh, remove these two Phillips head screws that hold the whole starter together. Uh, they were done up real tight. My impact screwdriver wasn't really working correct, so I had to. I ended up having to um, cut a little slit in that one there, so I could pound in a flathead screwdriver and just remove them in the vise. This one actually came out good with just a regular Phillips head. And uh, I pulled the starter off a few days ago, and it was the problem with it was the seal. This seal here had failed, and it had filled up with oil and shorted everything out. I'm not sure if it shorted everything out because of the oil, but it had shorts in it and it was full of oil. But I took it and I cleaned it up real good and put it back on the bike thinking it would fix it, but it didn't. It was just the same. So, um, yeah, that's NFG. So the new starter is going on. Uh, we're going to just put it on in the reverse order. Uh, so I'm going to take that out. Right now, oh my goodness, it's going to be a little, there we go, alright, new starter, so I'm just going to do it in the reverse order, I'm just going to take that, that screw and that uh, little plate that the wire has on it and just reconnect the wire. Starter wire is back on now, it was kind of a pain in the ass to get 
you know, back in because I had to hold the starter on the wire on the screw, but I mounted it just down there, you know, between this, the hose and the, the, the intake hose and the uh, fender there, and it wasn't too hard to get in. So that's on now. So now we're going to put the starter motor back into the, the engine. Uh, but it's a good idea to take a little bit of grease, doesn't really matter what kind, and lubricate this, this seal here along the, uh, the top edge of the starter because that'll help it seal better you know against the engine so no engine oil leaks out and also if you have any motor oil or gear oil or anything lying around put a little bit of it on this uh, this gear up here because that's gonna you know be in the engine and of course not gonna be any oil on it at all because it's at the top when you first start it so that's not gonna be good so just put a little bit of gear oil or just engine oil on there and then once you've done that you can take the, the starter and wiggle it back into you know sort of where it would go and uh, just slowly slide it in and do sort of a reverse of the motion before just sort of just wiggle it and push it you know not too much force just slowly push it in and wiggle it and you can also try slowly moving the start the kickstarter over a little bit and just wiggle it in and it may take a little while it's sort of a knack but yeah once you get it in we're going to be ready to replace the bolts so that's the next step wicked the new starter motors in place so you just want to remember when you're putting it in to make sure these these uh, little bolt hole things are in the same spot as when you took them out, and also the wire is sort of orientated oriented a little bit towards the front of the bike. So um, yeah, now we're going to replace the bolts to hold it in. So we'll start off with the two small ones that go there and there, and then we'll replace this transmission cover bolt thing that holds the brake cable. All right, well, moment of truth. Got the bolts back in. Uh, starters all back together. So, uh, yeah, she's ready to go. We'll leave the seat pan off just in case I screwed something up, but I think it should, should work pretty good. Bike's been sitting for about a week, week or so. so. We'll see how she starts up. Yeah! Wicked! That's awesome. It's never started that good before. Even when the starter actually worked properly, it never started that good. Awesome. Really simple job on these. Yeah, it took me about 15 minutes. Maybe 20. 15, 20 minutes. All in. So that is how you replace your starter motor on your uh, GY6 ripoff Clone 150cc scooters. Thanks for watching.